All right. Uh, Roach, you gotta go away. We don't have much freedom here. Nasty game. Wow. I, I was just, um, ah. I was not really complaining, but like, you know, I may have uh, mentioned that I would like to see more Squiatel. And we're seeing him. Ultimately, guys, uh, I'm not really like suggesting anything, but ultimately, I would just go with uh, just go with the things you can actually affect. Uh, at least that's one lesson I, I I actually ended up learning, or at least one lesson I actually consider lesson in my life. see anything this could be like a double scorch green lady she looks nothing like her picture what the hell crack i think you got misled here let us sing the song of steel went up shoop eight knees on front page really that means we're gonna see it uh, maybe to, uh... Create Marauder again. Ow. This is actually not as great. I was hoping for some wounded guys at least, so we can do a Pirate Captain. But... Not the best. Maybe we're just gonna do a, a ship. We'll see. Won't be tricky as long as you watch Burns. I kind of like the Scorch interaction, but it's, it's kind of an awkward one to play around. I shall not fail. Um. Let's hit the elf. Play the ship. With that, Borgwark is going to be an MVP in this matchup. <laughs> well, I take your word for it. I don't see how. We don't want to enable the captain. The elf. I think this is a woman. I can't tell. <laughs> I seem to be a common problem with elves. So, she likes a lot of elves. He plays a lot of elves without the... Hmm, I'm not sure. Well, he, he did play the Squirtle Neo fight, so I, I'm assuming, like, you wouldn't play this unless you're just pretty much into full-on into elves. Wait, what? Okay. I don't really have really good stuff here. We can go with Vesemir. And do like a Oblatano Archer. <laughs> yeah, not really good follow up. Uh, Wolf Pack and Savage Bear. I don't, we might even play Geralt Professional here. But the chance that he has something big is pretty slim. Elves are non-binary. The 
The big question is like, are they? Yes, one. Oh, that that's that's a that's a female. That's that's a female, I think. But the big question is, if it looks like a woman and it's actually a man, does it matter? I guess it does. I don't know. I guess the old elves are women and old dwarves are men. That's how it works. So we can get nine points here. Then I actually don't have a proper follow-up. <laughs> oh yeah, we can actually take it with Morgwark. But then we actually have to play Geralt Professional first. Yeah, we play Geralt Professional first. Then we can take it with Hero Power Morgwark. Okay. So I'm just kind of staying in the game. Garrett Professional is reasonably strong, but I don't really see him hitting too much here. Elves are traps. <laughs> Damn. Aren't there good cards here? Um. I don't know. What is his good card? I suppose Scorch is the most defining feature of that deck. Well, if I could trade trash cards, that's definitely a plus, but I don't think we can. Because I can play like a 5 now, then we're gonna be at 19 and he's gonna be like, Hmm, Crack can... has to play an 11. 11 is pretty high and he's just gonna pass. And I don't have an 11. So that's a uh, passeru over here. I suppose... In Isagrim in this archetype is like actually decent or considered one of the better cards. I don't really have like big units either. So I guess this is the pastime. Uh, we can use this, uh, the Savage Bear, the throwaway next turn, and hopefully, we're gonna draw into some good cards. I've played so little Druid Dispatch, maybe seen three of him. Okay. Uh maybe not the wolf pack. I think I just need to keep looking into better cards. I would be surprised if he plays. This is the always pass round two. Went the two round card game. With the removal of spies and uh, making uh, everyone draw six cards in the later rounds. Playing round two uh, is worse than ever. I really only play round two if I have to or I'm playing um, big monsters take that bear man do you like that yeah Craig doesn't have a, the best luck with women she's giving me her best poker face. And has a weapon in hand. Crack, this first date is not going so well. Erna would be nice. Yeah, we need Burna. Okay. I don't really need the Scald this time. What's up, Aethne? Regis, maybe? Probably not in the deck. Regis used to be quite popular. Well, we gotta start with something. And he probably gotta be Herald. Will he just, like, pop off the dudes? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Let's just go with Harald. 
you hear? They need us. They need us. Eight thousand. Also, isn't the biggest fan of humans? <laughs> that's why I'm not a Squirtel fan. Because that's basically what Squirtel is. The humans are racist. We're gonna show them by being racist. Like, yeah, yeah, you get him. So I think that maybe is a burner time. Oh, he might be playing like a like a Nivellan. We shall do it my way. Elf logic. <laughs> I mean, like I can certainly understand it there. Well, more than their feelings are hurt, but... And... Well, I can certainly understand, like, the whole thing, you know? Like, fuck the humans, right? But, at that point, you know, like... You're basically yeah, the same. To humans! What am I doing here? That thing is... Something else needs to be wounded. And we need to discard, I think, the Pirate Captain. Are we discarding anything? Well, I have to discard. So if we are discarding something for sure, it's gotta be the Demon Pirate Captain. We might as well do it right now, but I suspect we're gonna get a worse guard. Hey, listen here. Listen well. Only guy. Yeah, that's not that good. So now we are discarding a six as well. Unless we like play this like dead last. Uh, I'm considering that because. It's a 4 that destroys a 6. Well, that transforms a 6 into a 4, or a 2, or a 6. So, that's just bad. So, current plan is to play it last. We got a problem here, because... She can set up a double scorch. And I actually have a commander's horn. Uh, maybe we're gonna do that like a bear in the back. But even then, we're. Well, I should not hit the five. Because we wanna make sure that. Well, he can lower his own five. I don't know, this is tricky. Maybe I can just like boost something by crazy. So let's just Chiron X. Hit that. Awkward game. So I want to command this one in the back. Hopefully with the bear. And um, this is just so awkward. Hey, guys! At one point early in the season, was every second Skellige, like Horn is now. I don't really see Lippy either. That's the game. Uh, 
No way. That. What if we Chiron X his own guy? You guys like that? <laughs> we can also Savage Bear these two. And this allows us to Donar next turn. Or maybe Commander's Horde next turn. That allows a, a 7 to be the biggest. And I need to be careful with this Vanguard. Because he's just gonna hit this twice. But if I boost his own unit, then the Scorch could be like so bad. Not much I can do. So this goes up to 7, then he can hit it twice, burn on all the 5s. But he would need to... Actually... He can... Damage a unit. So what he can do... Whoosh! That's really good! So... Okay. That, that changes things. In more ways than uh, than I like. So probably Donar is gonna be dead. I can still go up to seven, but yeah, we are safe now. Unicorn can be played later. Probably, I don't know, boosting there. Well, I don't know. We, we actually can do that. But we should do the Unicorn for sure. Wait, no, no. I mean the Commander's Horn for sure. Take that, good olds. He didn't play too much, so... We're just gonna see. He, he could have Nivellen. I'm, I'm more concerned about Nivellen, actually. To them to a man. So next turn I can hit something for one. Not this turn. I think Donar is just dead. Next turn we can hit. This turn I have to play something. So unless he damages his own unit. Uh, I think Donar is just someone Eevee can forget about. What if I boost my own unit? In that case, he would need to hit his own unit twice, plus mine once, for a decent Scorch still. But I think Donar is the one who's coming out now. Or maybe we can... Actually, I can discard Donar, but it's a bit of a, a gamble. Oh, no, that, make, that makes no sense. That still is not completely terrible. Peace with humans, abide us. What am I doing? So, seems like he may be planning some kind of row effect. But it's not gonna be Dragon's Dream, maybe it's gonna be a Lacerate. Uh, we can play the Unicorn, but we gotta be careful. If we boost that for 6, he's gonna hit his own unit by 2. And my by 1, burning down 12, pretty good. I can also boost this up to 8, then he hits it once, plus his... Own unit once. Uh, that also sets up a pretty good one. I think this is the only way to do it. Because he has the last say.
You hate uh, Hearthstone? I don't really play Hearthstone right now. Uh, only, only rarely I play Arena. And I just really feel like it. But, you, yeah. Kind of depends. Sometimes I do it when I'm eating and watching a video or a, a, a TV series. So he hit that. Doesn't matter too much. Uh, let's just go with the Scald in the back. And that's all we got. So... What do you have? It was okay, but basically that was the whole game. You just like try to prevent uh, like a multiple scorch, and that was the whole game. All right, GG messed the game. There they are. So what is he doing? Is he playing the grave hag? Uh, I go second. Oh, the great marauders are probably pretty bad. I mean, uh, I mean, I go first. What the hell am I doing here? So I have one discarder. This cards first, so we can actually play it with Borg Varg as an opener. We can play the ship as an opener. I kind of like that. Immune. Now that is a mechanic, uh, which grind ends my gears. Um. Uh, Yeah, uh, the Arcus board, yeah, correctly pointed out, really good. A value generator that's free on play and generates by one a turn. And if you kill it, you actually get punished. So if this was a one, drive, deploy two damage, and not the last uh, line, this card would be good. This way, that card is is better than good. So, I think we're just gonna finish it off for now. Uh, it's a bit annoying to deal with. And we got a tactical advantage ship. And might as well just scald hey, listen here. Listen Warg Warg. Well. I have three guys on board. He has nobody. Not much left of that world. They all know Witchers. But I can start damaging people. But I may be playing the Crate Marauder. RNG! Punch him! Past. Well, that's an average outcome. I don't even need to damage them more than that, but let's just do it anyway. Just to make sure he has uh, enough wounded units. Now that's a nice one to blow up. <laughs> uh, and we can only do it with Donar. Will I do it with Donar? I don't really want to do it with Donar. He's powerful. But this could help us take round one, but will probably still force us to play round two. We have to play round two. Because if he has like a long grand Yennefer, that's stupid. 
it's gonna be like ridiculously powerful. We can play around uh, Donut a little bit later, so maybe we're just gonna. Oh, actually, no, I'm wrong. This is good enough. Oh, uh, okay, I've yeah, done. Kill him! Okay, don't don't have to point that in the chat. You want to bleed round two? What? Who dares? Ooh. Ah, oh, that's tricky. So, how do we do that? I would need to have the highest unit. The highest I can have is 9. So we would need to hit Count Coldwell for sure. But I would need to play the Unicorn as well. Oh, that's a little tricky. I can hit Count Coldwell. Maybe play around here. Okay. I don't really want to play the unicorn. Five points minimum for four provisions with no ceiling. It's insanely good. It's okay. Wait, what? He has that guy? Why? Okay, around spawn. Hmm. I guess we need to save a uh, professional for later. Like, a hit count Coldwell would make. Him join my side. Just quite nice. For nah, let's not do that. Not quite what I wanted to hit, but sure. Only at two. I'm still in the lead, and I suppose, like, pushing... As long as I'm pushing, it's kind of acceptable. Yeah, I don't really care about him too much now. Oh, I guess we're playing the Savage Bear. I might as well poke that a little bit. But the, the problem here is, he's kind of pretending to have a finisher deck. Oh boy. But I don't really want to play the Savage. This could be so damn important. What am I doing? I'm really struggling to well, stay relevant in the game. We're all dressed up just for you. You got this. 
I don't know about that. So do we keep playing? It would need to be Geralt Professional here. That's a big problem. But even like this, it could be too dangerous. I think we need to get a professional right, here. Kill Goliath. Take out that guy. <laughs> but I can't afford to push him round two. It just... The problem here is that monsters have so many things. Yeah, that's good, but I think I need something better than that. Yeah, the Witchers would be great. Guess that with the Horn would be good for last round. I think he has more of a finisher strategy, so I would expect the Morn Tart. We lost the round! The very impactful round two! Okay. Well, I go second. We will not have access to Chiron X. He might, might draw into it. I need to be a little careful here. So we play the Witchers. This is kind of okay. Yeah. Fine. What's up, Dogma guy? The witch is gonna help us to... I really hope he's not gonna be a Yennefer Conjurer. I just really hate the mute. Holy crap. Oh. But I can just blow that up. What's up? You're not immune to this, right? He's immune to my hero power, though. But Uncrate Morado knows what's up. Rip in peace, Werewolf. That's pretty strong. Really? You make that immune? Oh, I'm just gonna hit myself now. Just kidding. Um, let's go with Vesemir. Now this guy is, is pretty interactive. His first guy... Oh my god. So his first dude is... Something you can't realistically interact with with most cards. His second guy cannot be in interacted with. Uh, because of the uninteractive leader, then his next guy is something that you can technically interact with, but realistically, not really. Uh, let's just kill that before it gets stronger. So, like, five points on play. So... Kill the Archispore. Oh, let's just go Burna. We shall do it my way. Crack and eat me truly. Kill that. We need to play the horn. This is problematic. Is there something that I want to lock? Maybe.
Will he play anything that I can target? So I might want to play the Savage Bear here. But only hit by one. And save one charge for later. I don't think he really can murder a lot of guys I have. And this kind of enables Django Fret, maybe? I don't know. You have no idea what's going on now? Join the flipping club! Mm. Maybe I'm just gonna go with the uh, Django Fret. Then Horn. Then... This guy probably is not gonna play anything. Or he might play Borntart, and we can just kill that instead of blocking it. <laughs> Interactive! What now, Dogma Man? If he has Borntart, it's gotta be now. But oh, this guy is like super interactive. Um, let's go with the horn. I can kill that guy to make his immune <laughs> guy uh, stronger. What now? <gasps> no way! We can target that! in peace his strategy was not good enough the lesson here guys is that he just didn't put enough immune units in his deck where was the werewolf like the other one awful werewolf I'm disappointed in you son also where was Avalok alright GG